got it. One person, okay. Hello. Hello. Je les oreilles. Thank you. Je mets off. Je reviens. Sorry. Hello. 
Hi. Hi, Mia. How, How are you doing? doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? Very good. Thanks. Thank you. Let me see. Is uh, everything okay? Uh, yes. As a co-host, yep. And... Uh, uh, hi, Powell. Hey there. How are you doing? Hey. Oh, good. Hey, I thought I would come early to uh, uh, test the uh, screen sharing. I'm playing with yeah. some options. And you're co-host now, so you should be able to do everything that is possible. So cool. Awesome. So much power. Yeah, you're the almighty uh, <laughs> <laughs> boss of this session right now. <laughs> So 76 registration uh, for today. It's amazing. It's amazing wow. how much it attracted people. I'm so happy. Uh, that's, uh, I think that that's definitely something that people need at the moment is uh, hmm. just having some fun and but while creating value. Uh, hmm. So this is great. Uh, I, as I said, I share with you, we'll share with you the, the whole list after the event so that if that's then okay you for can you. see the screen now, does it work? Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's, uh, finally, there's only three questions, right? Three okay. questions where, sorry? You have, you will the whole ask session? three questions, yes. Oh, there's actually nine because they're here and there. So I put them in the presenter notes. That's where you can see them. Yeah. But... Yeah. And um, because you sometimes guys it doesn't make them. sense to put on a slide. It's too small um, in a sense. Uh... I may connect with my phone as well so I can see what's being shared exactly. The thing is that my computer is so slow, so I, I won't mm. be able to keep track on the... So it, it, when you ask the question, uh, no, maybe not. Uh, okay, okay. I, I try to keep track on the leaderboard uh, for the streak uh, and the questions. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it, it's gonna be challenging, but let's, let's do it. Um, by the way, um, you still see the poll, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. And uh, there's poll one and poll two. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to launch it for people. People are starting to come in. So let's launch the first poll. Um, welcome for the, to the seven participants of this uh, session, please. Answer the poll. Uh, there's three questions. Um, we'd love to know more about you. And yeah. Um, tuk, tuk, tuk. Laser fingers for answer. Okay. That's, 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 um, Okay, cool. Hi, Huyen. Hi, Tuan. Hi, Uyen. Hello. Hi, Hi, everyone. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, no more mic. Please answer the poll. Um, you must see it in the session.
Hi, Joanna. Welcome. Welcome to the gamification wow. workshop online. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the world where we're having fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Mm -mm. Get my water, hopefully enough so that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll have any time to actually drink. This session is so packed. That's a trick to, uh, yeah. <laughs> to have some sort of uh, excuse for a break. <laughs> water break, it's important. <laughs> yeah. well, luckily, we have some breakout rooms uh, activities, so that's, that will help to, to me a little bit. Uh, my 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 head is full of Vietnamese classes and Vietnamese words at the moment. Vietnamese classes and yeah. words. Ah. Yeah, because I, I have a Vietnamese class until 12. And so it's... Uh... Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Amelia. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good hey. afternoon. Hi, Jasprit. Welcome to the session. There is a poll uh, that we pulled up with three, three questions. Please answer them. It will be awesome to know more about you. Hi, me. Hi, Jam. We it are going to answer, but for some reason, it doesn't allow me to submit. Oh. It's yeah. disabled. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Weird. Mm. I'll check that problem uh, after. Somebody just submitted, so it somehow worked. Yeah. Maybe maybe just on mine. Maybe uh, Denise, you you're not treating participants equally. <laughs> maybe. Right. Or maybe it's Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Uyen, Sanjin. Welcome, hi Cha, Han, Han, um, me also. Hi, Lucy. Um, you just can call me. Um, me is fine. Me, me, me. Okay, hi me. Uh, change my name so it's easier for me to, for you to call me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, more and more people are, are answering the poll. That's awesome. Uh, thank you, Chan, for your message. Yeah, it's nice to be here. I'm, so, I'm also excited. Uh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 12.30, let's start. Uh, thank you so much everybody for being here. Um, today is an exciting session. Uh, we have over 70 registrations, so I hope that everybody's going to turn up, uh, turn into the session. Uh, welcome, uh, this uh, HR lunch break is brought to you by uh, Dreamplex and Tide Consulting. Dreamplex is a co-working space in Saigon that is going to open uh, three new locations in 2022 and 2021. So uh, check that out by uh, following that page. Uh, and Tide is a consulting firm uh, specialized in HR trainings. Uh, we both um, want to, uh, Dreamplex and Tide uh, co is cooperating to uh, bring the HR community together so that uh, our community can thrive through this lockdown. Um, because we know it's, it's quite uh, challenging at the moment to engage our employees. So um, we've pulled up a series of HR lunch break uh, every, every Friday of August. Um, and we, the aim is really to exchange experience, 
uh, experiment some new stuff together uh, and connect and discuss and create for the future of HR in Vietnam. So welcome to this session. Um, today, I'm so glad to, to welcome to, to this, uh, this HR Launchbreaker, Powell, who is the CEO uh, of Tribe, uh, a sales enablement uh, company. And uh, so welcome, Powell. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Thanks a lot. And uh, he will answer the question how to gamify employee experience. Uh, and I'm going to mute all uh, except you, except you, Powell. Yeah. Okay. I am muted. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you if you're allowed, you, allow, you let me know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'll allow you because it's your turn now. Um, so, Powell how to gamify employee performance and engagement. Great, thanks, thanks a lot. Um, let's break through the first little tension of a, uh, of, of a speaker. Thanks so much for, for having me here uh, and, and for giving me the opportunity to speak on the topic. I will admit this is the first time I run a workshop on gamification. It's something that has been close to my passion, which is motivation uh, for a long, long time. And, uh, and, and gamification obviously ties closely to motivation. So really excited to talk about it and, and take the challenge. So um, maybe to help you all to feel a little bit familiar with myself. Uh, so again, my name is Pavel. Uh, I come from uh, Poland uh, and I came to Vietnam in uh, 2012. So this is my year number 10. I think a good way to celebrate a decade in Vietnam is to run a workshop on gamification. <laughs> so as I mentioned, uh, my definitely big, big passion is how to enable motivation of other people, right? And I was really, really lucky to do a lot of really cool things uh, now and in the past that are related to that. So for example, initially when I came to Vietnam uh, in 2012, I had a, a great honor to run and a uh, nonprofit organization with more than 1,000 volunteers. And that was related to youth leadership development. So very much about, about motivation as well. And then I also uh, worked for a company that provided employee benefits to more than 2 million people in Vietnam. And then we also expanded to other countries in the region. So I had a chance to, to design benefit programs for uh, the people that we used to serve. And then I also had a chance to work with a couple of multinational companies in Vietnam to develop employee applications for them. Uh, and that eventually inspired me or gave me confidence to start uh, my own company, Tribe, uh, which is also an employee platform. Uh, so it's both the, the management portal and the employee app. And, uh, and again, our mission is to enable uh, employee motivation. And we do that especially to help sales employees to sell more, but also broadly help uh, employees to be more engaged, okay? So I think with that, uh, ready to go on this session. So let's talk about uh, gamification. So gamification is a strategic attempt to enhance systems. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're not going to do it like that. So uh, thinking about how to plan this session, I thought, okay, we cannot just explain gamification. We probably need to uh, do it in, in, in certain ways during the session, right? So how do we gamify this session? That was one of the questions. Um, and, and so instead of explaining what gamification is, we will also try to uh, do it all together, right? So that leads to a question that I have for you. Um, how would you like this session to be? And actually we have a little poll that we can launch here. Um, Denise, could you help me to, to push that up? Yes, I'm gonna Got push it. that up. And it's launched. It's on, right? So a very simple question to all of you guys. How would you like the session to be? Would you like it boring? I can do that. Um, or would you like it to be engaging? Hmm. Please answer the poll. Right, we got, uh, hmm, surprisingly, <laughs> I'll not uh, 
wait too long, but uh, surprisingly, or not, we got everybody wants an engaging session. <laughs> sounds sounds fair, sounds fair. So um, what uh, what the reflection is, I guess, for this session, but also for for employee experience and employee engagement for your own company, it's totally up to you to make it engaging as well. Just like for employee experience uh, in your teams, right? Uh, it's up to your employees to be engaged at work or to perform, right? Whether they perform or not, eventually it's up to them. But our job for me as a host of this session or for you as leaders or founders in your companies, it's our job to create the right environment uh, for the teams to be engaged, for the teams to achieve great results, for the teams to be motivated, right? So how we create that environment, uh, how we create that good environment for, for everybody to be engaged uh, or to perform well, depends on our ability to understand what drives motivation, right? What, what are the factors of motivation or what may help to get to become better? Right, so that's why we want to talk about gamification, but also talk about motivation uh, today and put gamification in that context. All right, so I think we should, uh, uh, how to, okay, there we go. So um, we have a couple of uh, expectations or, 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 or kind requests to all of you to help us to make this session more engaging uh, by doing a couple of things during this session. So please do speak up. I'll be asking you some questions because I'm very much looking forward to make a conversation at least in some parts uh, so we can learn from each other. Uh, so please share your answers. Please, uh, you can always type laser fingers. So, so you can type your answers uh, if that's more convenient and faster. Um, use the reactions. So the Zoom has these really cool features um, to, so you can show when you agree or, or when you have a question, right? So use the reaction. Uh, we will have a group breakout as well. So then we will need some of you at least to take lead and share uh, answers on behalf of, uh, of your teams. It would be great if you turn the video on uh, so we can see each other and this way definitely we can be more uh, engaged with each other, right? Please do ask questions. Please make them, uh, make them constructive or, or, or provide constructive uh, challenge to, um, to, to, to what we're discussing here. And uh, yeah, if you, if you like something that somebody else said, give them kudos, right? Let's, let's make it engaging and so that it's interaction among each other, not just between me and you. So uh, give kudos to others if you like their ideas. Uh, and generally come up with many ideas to the questions that we'll be discussing, like a popcorn, just, just keep them popping up. Uh, and and uh, yeah, and I'll be asking you some questions to guess. So uh, play along, uh, make a guess. Uh, so that's some of the expectations we had uh, and hope that this will help us to make it more engaging. All right, but um, anybody here uh, figured like, what are these images that we, that we use for the slide? What are these? You can type or you can just speak up. What does it remind you of? All right, Nicholas was first. That's called laser fingers, right? Badges, right? So, so these are badges, right? Uh, or medals, you can call it, right? right. So um, why do we need badges, right? So badge is actually one of the elements of many games. And that's one of the very typical popular element of gamification. Right. So why does it motivate people to have badges? Right. Somebody would say, yeah, like badge doesn't have a value. It's 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 uh, it's nothing. Right. But in fact, it does make impact every time it's used in, in, in gamification context. Right. So it it definitely provides a clear expectation. This is what I have just shared with you. Right. We can award you these badges during the session for being engaged, right? Along the expectations or call it rules that we share with all of you here, right? Um, it's also an evidence of a progress, right? Once we collect the badges, it shows to ourselves, wow, this, there's so much I already accomplished or there's so much I contributed, right? And if you think of uh, 
many platforms they use badges also as a form of uh, status, right? So somebody can present that they have already contributed this much and that's what earned them those badges of honor, right? And I have an example here. There we go. <clears throat> um, this is a page uh, of how badges are used by one of the banks in their tech team. So this is, uh, I, I, I copied from an article of my friend who is a CTO in a large bank in Vietnam. And he wanted to build a culture of growth. He always, in fact, when we worked together in a previous company, what really stood out to me about him as a leader of a tech team was that he's restless in building the culture where everybody keep improving themselves. And this is how he leveled up recently with his, with his latest team, where he created this dashboard online where all the team is engaged in, in learning. And by that, he, he recognizes them by, by giving them the badges, right? So they can show to each other that they all, it becomes their culture that they all continue learning, completing the courses, contributing to the team. And that's important for them, right? Which tells us that badges is not only something that help to engage young people or, or young employees who perform unsophisticated jobs. Because like in this case, we're talking about in intellectual workers. So, so the software uh, engineers, right? Who are very, very engaged with this concept uh, in their team, right? And you don't, need a, you don't need a tech platform or you don't need to be a tech master to be able to start applying it for your own teams, right? These are badges for the same tech team uh, in, in the bank that I mentioned, they also created the real badges so they can actually give it as a token of appreciation, but also as something to, to show off uh, in the team, right? Uh, uh, for, for, for making that engagement higher and just making it more fun, right? You just need creativity and a little bit of time. So that's what they have done without really committing any real big budget, right? Another thing, that is a really um, big and important element of, of gamification uh, would be, of course, points and competition, right? And that's how we want to engage you also in this session. We, we have a team. Uh, so in this session, we are not using artificial intelligence to power our gamification. We're using IQ instead of AI. So <laughs> one, of <Hello>. the, <laughs> one of the IQ provider is, is waving to us just now, but we will be doing our best to record um, points for, for all of you for contributing in the session. So whenever you contribute along the expectations we share, we'll try to record it. And at the end of the session, we will share the leaderboard to see who actually is the team, uh, who, who, uh, who was the most engaged during the session, because we want to say thanks to you for that, right? And so, so leaderboards is another form how we make it more fun uh, for the whole experience, uh, working together or collaborating together in, in, in this workshop even, right? And how we can make it even more engaging. We can add another element of gamification, which is other players, right? So, so interacting with other people in a game or in the in a real environment in a competition makes it even more fun right and that is why we want to uh invite you to form teams also in this session right so i've got a question for you that i want to ask you and we will we will we will break now into into smaller groups so your group will become uh your team and for the rest of the session all your contributions that you give to the session will contribute to the score of your team that you will form just now. So then it's not you performing or, or contributing just for yourself, but, but for on behalf of your team as well. So we'll break out for seven minutes. Uh, and the question I wanted you to discuss in those, uh, in those groups uh, will be, what is your favorite game so far in your life? can be in from your childhood or now, and which elements of this game can be applied at work in your work situations now. So um, Denise will help us to, to break out right now. Are yes. we ready? Yes, I will break out into nine rooms. There's gonna be five to six participants per room. 
please first introduce yourself, your name, your, the company that you're working for, and then uh, please keep it uh, short because uh, seven minutes for, for four, five participants, we need everybody to, to talk. So uh, I'm going to break out the rooms now. Please join the breakout rooms. Um, you should have a message and answer the question of Powell, what's your favorite root game? Awesome, people are joining. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, me, Mia. Should be okay. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. wait. wait, wait. Almost everybody in groups. That's cool. Yes, uh, Paolo. I it won't I'm still be, here. Yeah, don't just it, stay here. Don't, don't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> no worries. Let's let uh, the others uh, joining the room. Uh, I'm gonna guys, broadcast if, mm -hmm. the the question. So, what's your favorite game? We still have some people in this room. So, if you guys don't see invitation to join a group, just let us know. Maybe type. So we'll yeah. try to add you to a group. Not trying to find which element of this game can be applied to work. Up. Uh, there are some people. Uh, maybe I'm gonna need people to room six. Room six. I'm changing people just uh, now. I hope that it will help. Um, okay. We started the breakout rooms at 47, right? Mm -hmm. 12.47, so there's still five more minutes. I see that uh, Chang is... Oh, we can move. Chang? Uh, okay. Uh, Are you looking at the leaderboard? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do that. Do you need any help, Dennis? Um, no, okay. no, no, it's uh, all good for me. I'm a little bit worried about the leaderboard. Uh, <laughs> I try to, it's... but I, I don't know, like me is still here or not? Yeah, yeah, I just send. Uh, it's only us yeah. in the room. We yeah. can talk. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, There's more people here. Okay. Sorry, Ni. I I took the liberty to actually uh, put the points on the videos on and the cool reaction when I saw one. So I know that we said that the badges were yours, but I, yeah, I I kind of uh, dealt with it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. So we have eight rooms and about four, four to five people in each of them. Uh, I don't know which one in which room. So now I can. I send you a Slack. 
Yeah, it's, it's I okay. I check on Slack. I, I just send you the, you can oh, check okay. there. Any? Oh, so you, you can put the, the group number? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh my God. There is yeah. Wait, I'm gonna assign you at uh, three. How many minutes we have left? Uh, we have two minutes left. Let's broadcast a message. Two minutes left, uh, and I need to. Uh, I need to send a message in one minute. Again. And I signed the God's word. Uh, ben and Marody are in room two, not one. Nia, yeah, are you okay? Yeah, but... <laughs> is I don't understand a lot of changes in the seat. Oh, you um, what are you doing? Oh, okay, 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 okay. And I'm changing what I said because actually you did. Okay, I let you do what you what you are doing. There is, okay, I'm gonna close the rooms. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Mm, yep. Uh, yeah. Right here. Cool. Okay, you're back. Cool. Uh, they have 60 seconds to come back <laughs> from now. All right, there's no badges for people, for the quickest to come back. <laughs> we should have. Don't want like that. Okay, welcome back, Yoga. You. Okay. Right, so we're looking at, we have 19 people back. I think we have 20 more to come back. Yes, they are uh, finalizing their. Uh, Discussion. In 30 seconds, we should be. Yes, exactly. So, um, but I'm curious already for those who are here, anybody would like to speak up and just share? Uh, you can also type all the ideas uh, at one, that's also fine. But anybody would like to speak up? What, uh, what did you guys uh, thought was some impactful elements 
from your favorite games that you can apply. Anyone, if you would like to unmute yourself and share, that would be awesome. If you speak up, there is one more point. If you speak up uh, first. <laughs> okay, and I'm uh, raise my ahead. hand. And go ahead, please. So uh, I will speak up here because I can, I know the feeling of when no one speak up when you ask. <laughs> that also works. Um, so um, I, I represent group six. That's a name that Dennis gave our group. Uh, we have four people here. So it's a, a interesting group where we have two people who barely play any, play any games and two others who um, invest like literally invest uh, financially in the games hmm. um, and the two so i will focus on the the other two um so the games they mentioned they mentioned call of duty uh, they mentioned huh? monopoly and they mentioned joyce so i'm not too sure about the name of the game but it's a storytelling games so you hmm. have storytelling you have action game and you have um kind of like negotiation game, arcade game, and storytelling. And so one of the member, um, she when she mentioned Monopoly and she mentioned Joyce, especially the storytelling game, she said that the, the elements of the storytelling that can be applied to work is how people can choose um, different options. And by choosing different options, they can control they can control the outcome of the story. Let's say that you have a policy that you want to implement or you want to... Um, renew, like uh, renew a new policy. And by letting people play that game, by letting people choose different options based on the policies that are being implemented, um, people will see that different outcome when you apply that kind of policy. So she said that is, is the element that can be used in from games into workplace. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. That's yeah, that's it it's a great example. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I'll come back to uh, you mentioned a story, and I'll, I will make a point on that as well. That's that's great. Uh, one more person, maybe anyone would like to share? And thank you so much. I well, our group was not very playful. Hi, Mauricio. <laughs> hey. I personally never do that. I mean, I've never been involved with games or things like uh -huh. that. I don't like these kind of things. Um, but you're now trying to do it for your teams, right? Yeah, now we are trying to do it. So one of the guys mentioned, I don't remember the name of the, of the, of the platform they use for, uh, something about the kind of games, playing with friends and things like that, but no, not really a lot of information. Right, right, right. What is the, what is the gaming element that you're uh, now starting to use for your teams? Uh, no, I'm doing, a, I found a page which is, a, they have quizzes, you know, about everything. Mm. So I found something mm. about Vietnam. And what I do is just make a small um, quiz, like 10 questions, and then I, I ask them to answer. And we do some, some practice right, for that. Right, right. So interactions through quizzes, right? Like that's, uh, that's one of the most powerful to uh, tool. Uh, great, great. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. So I will, I will, I will refer and I will share even more um, ideas or examples. So let's get to it. Uh, get to the next one. And thank you, uh, Mauricio. Uh, Okay, we're here. Um, great. So I wanted to talk a bit about people's motivation and what, uh, yeah, what, what, are, what, what, move, what makes people move. Uh, with my own experience, I, I share with you that, that uh, with my team, we work on, on enabling people's motivation, right? Uh, uh, a lot of times uh, that would be large dispersed sales teams, for example, working in stores or, or in the field. And uh, so we spend a lot of time asking people, asking managers, what motivates people or what makes them move, right? And of course, uh, as you would all think, the, the very frequent answer is uh, income, right? That people, people want to make more money because they come to work uh, for money. So that is always uh, something important. But there are also other things, right? Like uh, recognition, for example. I, uh, and, and, and we tend to think sometimes that the, the recognition as, as acknowledging somebody Maybe that's better for the young employees, et cetera. But there's one story that inspired me. I had a friend um, who 
uh, used to work for a large multinational company as a senior manager. And she told me once that, you know, Pavel, I wish that my manager recognized me more than once a year. So we have this, so we have this annual review and then she tells me all the things that I do well. Uh, but normally during the working time, like she's, she's quite cold. So, uh, so I wish that she told me sometimes when I do something right, right? So it's so important for people regardless their, uh, regardless the position or level of seniority, right? Another is growth, right? So how do we help people to grow? How we help them to see that they grow and how we show them that the company or the team, so the result of their work is growing as a result as well. That's so important for the people, right? And, and the last one that I realized importance of that even more fairly recently is passion, right? Think Apple, think the company Apple. Their employees are very often fans of their brand. So therefore they are much more motivated to work for the company because they love the brand and they love the products. They are the first one who wants to have access to the newest release, to the new product. And we realized that we need to start using that more and more for motivating employees that we work with, right? And that's why one of, uh, one of the clients that we work with is a legendary brand for Vietnam in fashion, right? With, with uh, over 200 stores in Vietnam with sales, a lot of sales employees. And, uh, and we literally, uh, this week, we got a record number of, of active users on our platform. It was really, really high. Out of, out of all register 1,100, we have more than 1,000 people who come to the platform at the same time uh, in the same week. So that was because of the new initiative that, that the company started there, which was, uh, they called Proud Moments. So they started sharing in, uh, stories about the history of the brand, how the company was created, but in a very engaging way. And they also engage the employees to share their own part of the story. What was their proud moment in the company, right? So all that, plus everything that you do to treat your employees exclusively, right? To give them access first, how we can turn the employees into the fans of our brand and make them feel very connected to the organization. That's a huge driver that we often don't utilize for motivation, right? So... Speaking of motivation, my favorite uh, book on the topic, it's called Drive. And Drive gives us a very universal look at intrinsic motivation. So intrinsic meaning come from the inside. So as you see the, the three bullet points, money is not there, right? Money is a short term look at motivation. It's something that helps us to, to make a small push now, but it's never something that keeps us motivated in the long term. Right, so that we will talk about it uh, separately. But I wanted just to tell you quickly, like what are these three elements and how we could relate them to, to gamification, right? So the first one is autonomy. And the author defines it as the urge to direct our own life, right? To so be the master of our own fate. Uh, so how do we give people their own space so they can find the best way that they can contribute and fulfill their job and the targets they have in their way, right? Great example, think of all the freelancers or, or, or sales agents, right? That they, they um, appreciate the, 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 the fact that they can decide their own working hours and how they do the job. They only play within the rules that we set or the expectations that are being set for them. So, so that's the part of, of that we need to define. So the rules, the framework, the expectation, the goals, and then allow our, ourselves or our team members to, to be more autonomous here. Um, and then our job is just how do we support them uh, so that they can achieve their goals and, and, and still maintain their, their autonomy, right? So examples of how some companies do that, right? On the high level, very inspiring, but uh, uh, would be, for example, Google or another tech company from Australia called Atlassian, right? They would allow their employees to use 20% of their working time to work on their own projects that they think that are uh, great uh, from their perspective and they want to try it, right? In Atlassian, it's called FedEx Day because the only goal is that they need to deliver something, right? They need to deliver the results but they can do whatever they want, right? And that's that what motivates them. But giving work from home, flexible hours, right? It's all 
supporting autonomy. So showing the badges like we did, it's how we set the framework and expectations so that the, our employees or players in the game can uh, do the rest and choose how they do it, right? The next one is mastery. So the desire to get better at something that matters. That's how the author defines it, right? But what's the next thing that I want to get really good at? Do I see my own progress in what I'm doing, right? What is my new challenge that I want to take up, right? Uh, like me doing this workshop, actually, right? Uh, I, I've been learning about gamification or, or, or generally about motivation, but it's another challenge for me to design a workshop and share that with you uh, to, so, so that we can learn together, right? And, and, and one golden rule from the author here, like uh, how do we motivate people uh, to really use that, that driver, which is mastery, we need to give the tasks or goals that are not too difficult so they can still achieve it, but not too easy, right? So that is what we call challenges, right? So this is how do we give people challenges and constantly change it, right? So you can use, it, you can use the platforms. Uh, so we work in, in a way to challenge employees by giving them, we call it campaigns or, or challenges where they have certain goals there's certain reward to it. And, and we communicate the progress, communicate the feedback, right? It can be complete a course or submit the highest number of feedback from the customer, right? Or attend all the meetings this week in a row without being late, right? So all these would be different challenges, right? And how do we support mastery as well? Is how do we show people how they improve, right? So here's another interface from the app that shows the, the user of the app, how they are progressing over time as they're collecting the points for their contribution and how they reach the next levels, how they achieve different challenges. So you can see that here as a view of a badge, right? Like they collect these badges as the new challenges that they completed, right? Or, or in the context of work, how do we record the achievements of the employees so they can really see how they're progressing there and how they level up as they go, all right? And the last one uh, in Drive is all about the purpose, right? So the yearning to do work or a service in a service of something larger than ourselves, right? So how do we ensure that the team know the vision of our company, right? That's the story taking from the game uh, parallel and metaphor, right? That's the story of the company. And now employees are part of this story, right? So what does your company work towards that and why does it matter, right? So, so the question to you, how often do you use storytelling to help employees feel that they are part of something bigger, right? In every game, we are part of a story and, and, and that story helps us to understand the bigger picture. So gamification definitely is not just about the points and leaderboards, right? But it's also about the, about the purpose and the story that we want to be part of. And we play because we want to be part of this, of this story. So, so, the, so the, the, the next example, right? So um, relating back to the leaderboards that, that we share, uh, in this example here, you can see that's a leaderboard of teams, right? So if you contribute to the team, it's already something that is bigger than yourself, right? Because now I'm working for the whole team. So I cannot let my team down. I need to make my team proud by contributing my part to it, right? That's a purpose as well. And that's how you gamify it by teaming people up. So then they have responsibility, not only for, for, for themselves, but also for the entire team, right? And how, so in this example here with this leaderboard, right? How the leaderboard concept help us as well is you can quickly see who are the top performance, right? So we can, uh, we can ask the top performance, how do you do it so that you're so successful? So we can share with the rest of the team. And you can look at the bottom of the ranking and you can ask what happens that you're not achieving it, right? How can I help you to achieve a better result, right? So one of the most important tactics for companies to improve their performance overall is look at the bottom 20% of the people who are not performing and coach them, coach them daily, right? So don't wait for the monthly report, but that, that's why, for example, with Tribe, 
we build these leaderboards to be real time because that will allow the company also to define today who is the bottom 20% and how do we go back to those teams or those individuals to support them, right? So it's not just about who's the winner, but it's to understand also who is contributing and for each individual team or person to show where they are and how much they're missing to get to the next level and to get higher. So the question is, why motivating ourselves or our teams is so hard, right? If we have a goal, I want to make more money. Or if we, uh, if we have a goal, I want to uh, lose weight, right? Or I want to learn speaking Vietnamese. So why it's so hard still to achieve it? That's, that's the question, right? And question to you, have you ever had any important goal for yourself, right? That you struggled to, to get yourself to work towards consequently and all the time? Any ideas? Like you can just type in the chat. Yeah, talking about uh, winning points in teams, um, we have like, we have, so as Paolo said, there are, we keep the uh, breakout rooms teams. Uh, and there are some teams that haven't scored any points. Uh, team number four, uh, Jasper, Mikael, me, me and uh, and so if you want to win points, please answer to the question in the chat. Not about the point even, about the contribution, right? So, and contribution, yeah. yes. <laughs> Guys, exactly. uh, is Can there I... any goal in your life before, right? That mm -hmm. you, was important for you, but you struggle. Hello. Hello, I'm Audible. Hey, hey, yeah. Yes. So, hi everyone, this is Jasprit from India. Hi. Okay, so I am. I think I'm the younger one here because I have only experience of five to six months in the HR Thank department. Thank you for contributing. <laughs> Thank you so much. So the the question uh, the question is 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 very the, the question is very important to me because the mm. the the my six months goal is to learn French language because I wanted mm. to go to Paris. I wanted to go to France. So the, I'm struggling it because uh, uh, while waking up in the morning. I look at my uh, my book. I have purchased a book to how to learn French, and uh, I just look at it and uh, and thinking that uh, one day I will start learning French. And this has kept on going on in a few days, and uh -huh. uh, I don't know how to uh, to, to <laughs> make myself to to uh, to to uh, how to make myself just be, uh, come on pick that book and uh, write something in French, speak something in French, and uh, this is the this is the struggle that I am continuously struggling in in past two or two two to three days. Great, great. And that's actually a very good example that I want to relate to. So thank you so much for for sharing it and uh, and and uh, exactly, it's all about the habits, right? To learn French, we need to or to learn any language. We need to develop habits of, of learning every day, right? And that is a difficult part, right? How do, we, how do we learn? How do we get ourselves to do it repeatedly, right? Because we need a repeated action to achieve what we want to achieve, right? So if it's earn more, for example, I want to earn more. So that means I need to improve my skills, right? I need to train. I need to approach more customers if I'm a salesperson, right? Or I need to study the product more. Uh, and maybe I need to do it every day to really understand my product. So therefore I can sell more. So therefore I can earn more, right? Or if I want to lose weight, that means I need to run every morning. So I need to get up every morning and run, uh, right? Or I need to eat healthy and I need to make sure that every day I plan my meals in a healthy way or go to sleep early. So it's all about actions and they are habits because we need to repeat them, right? So the last thing for my part, I wanted to give you a tool uh, 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 that would allow you to think how to think about uh, building the habits, right? So there's four steps for, for that. And uh, these are the four laws of, of habit formation. The first one would be how we make it obvious for ourselves to do certain thing every day, right? So if I want to, let's say that my goal is to lose weight. I want to, the habit I will develop is I want to run every morning. Or on the other hand, I want to earn more. So the habit is I want to focus and achieve my target every day, right? So to make it obvious for myself, make it easier for me. So I prepare the clothes. So before I go to sleep the next, the day before, I prepare the clothes so that when I wake up, I leave the room, I see the clothes that reminds me I need to go to run, 
right? Or for the salesperson, I need to see that daily reminder, what is my target? And it must be obvious and remind me every time. This is my target, right? Next step, make it attractive, right? So it must be fun for me to run. So how do I make it fun for myself? I put my favorite music on. So then I look forward to running because when I run, I also do something I love, which is uh, listening to music, right? Or if we're talking about the selling, Maybe we make it more fun by creating compet competition, right? So that we have interaction with other colleagues. We have a lot of fun. So I want to push myself to sell more because it's fun to compete, right? That's how I make it more attractive. Then how we make it easy, right? If the, if the habit is too difficult to form, I will lose my interest and I will not do it, right? So if I never run before, my goal first to make it easy, okay, I just need to run one kilometer. That's it just one kilometer. So then I'll go and I'll do it. If my goal is 10 kilometers, then it will prevent me from going out because, oh, I cannot do 10 kilometers today, right? That's too much. So set the smaller goal, make it easy, right? So for the salespeople, if they have low results, let's, let's uh, set the lower target, right? How to start with a small target so it totally feel achievable, right? And then if I do it, if I complete my run, this morning, how can I make it more satisfying for myself? So again, I look towards it. I want to do it more, right? So for me personally, that would be think, what, what, what am I gonna eat after I run, right? So because I run and I burn more calories, I can eat something that I enjoy that is not uh, maybe ideal for the diet. That's my, my way of cheating, right? Or for achieving the sales target, maybe there's some instant bonus or instant reward, right? So another example of, of what, how you can gamify for employees, you can provide some rewards there. So they will make that more attractive to shape up this habit that you know that will help them to be more engaged, right? Um, I'm looking, I'm conscious of the time. I wanted to go through this one, but I think we'll, we'll just skip or, or, or I'll, we talk about how we can make the meetings are more engaging, right? So the habit that we want to do from the team may be staying focused, right? How do we make it obvious? We may remind about what we expect from the team, right? Or, or how do we make it attractive? We, we, uh, we make the environment and in interactions more fun, right? Or we make it shorter so it's easier to attend and easier to be focused because we make it shorter. Or, or uh, we make it more satisfying by recognizing people and uh, maybe providing reward for doing a good job during the meeting, right? So that's why Mauricio mentioned that he is doing the quizzes, right? During his experience uh, working with, with his teams, right? So Kahoot is probably the most famous tool for doing the quizzes and we can do it in using digital tools uh, and apps or we can just do it in a fun way without anything. Uh, and, and one more element, right, is how do we keep people going, especially relevant with the habits, right? So if we want to learn French, it means we need to learn every day. And uh, we need to keep ourselves accountable to go and do it every day. And because we already managed to do it three times in a row, then let's not break the chain. Let's do it today again. So if we have a visual way to show to our teams that we already hit the target three days in a row, let's do it today again. Let's focus just on today and let's focus on maintaining that streak, right? That will be another super important uh, element of gamification, right? So I think, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the time. So let's maybe summarize. And I wanted to ask you, so maybe let's jump to, to, the, to the second one. Could you summarize what, you can just type in the text, in the chat, or you can share uh, by, by uh, speaking up. What elements of gamification uh, that you remember from, from this session, from the discussion so far? What was that again? What, uh, what elements of gamification uh, that we remember now from, from this session, generally, uh, what are the elements of gamification that, that we can use for our teams? Learning and um, motivating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Motivating, learning, right? So what else? Storytelling, great one, Chang. Storytelling, 
uh, simple steps to start, easy, make it easy enough, great. Recognition, I'm reading the chat. Thanks guys for typing in the answers. Recognition, what else? Mm. Make it a habit. Yeah, that's the next one. Create a habit. Badges, great. Badges, keeping strict. That's the uh, idea, popcorn there. Badges, keeping strict, how to make people come back to the game. Quick wins, focus on the bottom performance and support them, right? That's great. Make it obvious, clear. Teamwork, right? The team. So team is also forming teams is also the element of gamification, right? Probably somebody mentioned the leaderboards, right? How we rank people, leaderboards, uh, habit, okay? Uh, avatars, right? Another one would be avatars or making the profile. Remember I show you on one slide, allowing employees to see their own performance and, and players to see their performance as through their profiles or avatars, right? Rewards, we talk about challenges, quests, right? That's what we talk about. So that will be other things. So the last question then, so why, so, sorry, so why? So how can it help us? That's the last question, if you, if you guys can type, how the, how the gamification can help us. Uh, to motivate the teams, to get engaged, the people. Uh -huh. Mauricio, thank uh, you. To so learn. how to get engaged, the teams. What else? To learn. To learn, right, exactly. Right? It's not just about performance. It's not just about engage. It's also how we boost the learning in the team. Merrily share, make, make work more fun, entertaining, promotes a engagement from the team. Thanks, Amelia. Anything else, guys? This is how we can get the feedback from the team, right? We can engage them to provide more feedback. When I work with companies, very often there is a very little interaction to receive feedback. Uh, from the customers or from the employees through the employees, right? Somebody said that earlier, we can use it to analyze the top performance and the low performance through some of the elements like a leaderboard, right? In a way, it could be also to control your team, you know, because uh, in, the, in, in a way that you are playing with them, you can mm. also check what they are doing and how they are reacting and how... Uh, how motivated they are or how involved mm. they are with the company. And, you know, you can always see how, or the attitude they have. Some people, they mm -hmm. don't care. Some people, they, you know, they don't, ah, whatever. Right, right, right. But then you see who is like more motivated and who is the leader of the team, who is doing something, who is moving the team. So you can also use that for internal information. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Actually, what uh, one of my customers said that. Uh, hey, I run 200 stores and uh, sometimes I need to promote somebody to be manager, but I don't have visibility how different people are doing, right? So by using those gamification elements, we start having more evidence who is really engaged, who really cares to be engaged, right? Back to the one of the first slide we said, it's up to the employees to be engaged, to perform, right? You support them by providing this great environment, but then we want to know who is engaging and we want to bet on those people, right? Thank you for that, Mauricio. Actually, that's a and super also important I think point. So in, in a way, uh, the culture um, is a big influence to us. Uh, not mm. everybody reacts the same. Mm. That's right. Yeah, like, and by doing that more, we decide to shape it. quiet people, you know, they are very, very quiet, it's like, you know, they take their time. So it, it takes more time to engage them with something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It takes more time. That's another key insight, right? If you want to drive a change in the culture, don't expect that change will happen overnight. You just need to be consistent in doing that, just like creating habits, right? We need to do it over and over and people will follow that eventually or they will decide it's not for them. And they will leave. Sometimes I don't know if they are so too shy because like in my team, uh, we have the executive team. One day I posted what I cook at night, you know? So I mm. said, okay, I'm going to do a, a contest who is the best chef in the team. So I posted what I did for dinner and I took a picture and I posted and they, they took time to do that. It's like, mm. guys, why don't you post something? Uh, yeah, 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 we're, we're going to check. And then after another one started and then another one, another mm. one, and another one, Snowball. and another one but it takes time for them to, to get involved with the thing. That's great, exactly, exactly. 
I, uh, I'm conscious of time, so I will pass it back to Denise. Sorry, Denise, for uh, not leaving more time. No, this, no, I it's, it's, it's all okay. right. It's all right. Uh, do you want to announce the winners? Do the we? Winner? Uh, we, have, we have a team, a uh, team winner. And perfect. Let me. Yeah, um, if you go on the next slide, we one can sec, announce it. We need the, to refresh that. Not this one. Yeah. One second, one second. So we have a team winner, which is a... I don't remember which. Oh, yeah. a team um, number five. Team number five is Amelia, Hui, Joanna, and Lucille. Congrats. Uh, you want me to share it, to share the screen? I got it. I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. There it's we go. So, Congrats. Thank you guys congrats. for uh, helping us to engage here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for being engaged. Uh, the second uh, team is Warren, Tam, Nguyen, and Naman. And the third one is Ben, Marily, me, and uh, Huyen. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much, Thank for, you so much. for being so engaged. Uh, there are some questions uh, that um, the audience has asked you. Um, uh -huh. Let's take one minute, to, one or two minutes to answer them. Um, how, how should one start in building a batch roadmap? For example, which batch goes first, which goes next? and when and how to reach the next badge? Um, I think not, not hearing more context, right? Uh, I think the first question we wanna ask ourselves, what do we want to achieve, right? Uh, sometimes uh, companies use their company values as badges and then they describe behaviors that would earn these badges. Sometimes it's more about behaviors that drive sales or behaviors that drive more learning, right? So we need to prioritize our goals, right? And, and decide the badges uh, accordingly. And probably it's a good idea to start with a few and then keep adding because what people love, what we love is uh, diversity, right? So if it's all the time the same, then we get bored, but we want to keep adding the challenge there, right? Um, okay, next question within uh, gamification within a company implies that everybody must follow the same rules. While individuals motivation may differ, how to deal with this dimension and make it fair at the same time? That's a question from Marilee. How to, could you, could you help me repeat that? How to, how to deal with this dimension? The problem that there are some, some, that, some that are more uh, motivated than others and how to make it fair at the same time. How to make generally the gamification fair for everybody. Yeah. That's probably what, yes. what it meant, right? Yeah, um, I think so too. Hmm. That's, a, that's, an, that's a very important question. I'm, I'm, I'll use some examples that come to my mind first because I think the, the, the question is quite broad and there will be a lot of things to say, but uh, uh, let's use the concept of leaderboards, right? So, and, and leaderboard, uh, let's say in the organization that focus on sales, it will be based on the sales. So who is the best salesperson? The risk with that is that we may not be fair to our teams if we compare everybody all together, right? So the key step would be to define, we call it tiers, right? So define the groups that is fair to make them compare to each other. Uh, because of the context of where they're working, their, maybe their, their abilities, right? Depending on your context, but there will be some way to group and then make the competition among these groups so that it feels achievable uh, to win, which is one of the key uh, aspects there. Do I feel that it's possible for me to win? Uh, or if that's, if that's the goal of this specific uh, game, right? Or a challenge. Cool. Thank you so much for your for your answer, uh, Paul. Um, and thank you, Amelia, uh, Anne, and and Marily for your questions. Uh, we are going to wrap up this session. Uh, thank you so much for being here, everybody. It's uh, I hope that you had a great time. There is a survey that it is going to pop up just after you finish this, the Zoom session. So please, please, please 
answer it. It's very, very important uh, for us to, to improve and to make better uh, events for you and uh, making them interactive because, uh, because we, we are just also um, tired of having boring sessions. Um, so thank you so much for being here. And the uh, next HR lunch break is going to be with Tracy Do, uh, which is the HR uh, head of HR at Shopee Vietnam. Uh, she will share with us the journey to hybrid work. So all uh, the milestone that she and Shopee has overlooked, has looked at uh, to, to make the transition from office job, office work until uh, hybrid work. Uh, and what are the challenges around it. So please uh, register to this event. Uh, we'll be happy to have you again. And uh, thank you so much, Powell, for being thank you, here, everybody. for sharing for all allowing about me the gamification. Uh, <laughs> we hope that you, you enjoyed this experiment experience of, of gamified uh, meeting. And hopefully see you next time and next week. Thank you so much, everyone. Sorry for Thank being you. late. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Mauricio. Bye, Amelia. Thank you so much. Bye. OK. Have a great Bye, weekend. Paolo. Bye, Dennis. I will leave it now. Bye. 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 Bye.